two reasons. One is it's impossible for me to authenticate this document. It's clearly not authentic because it refers to a date that was adopted and there's a picture underneath of the Sandy Hook Elementary School course at the Super Bowl, which we all know took place sometime in 2013. So you don't have just to copy the, the policy? Just, just, cut the, just cut the picture off. That's the policy. Just cut the picture off. We'll just hold this up. How about a, for, for, for saving the, we'll allow for ID purposes for the death testimony. Because it's fine. I also question the relevance of it. Well, we'll, we'll see what they do. So it's just this page right here? Please. All right, we're going to mark this as a complaint. It's a this is for 461, so that would be D for ID? Yes. ID purposes for complaints. D? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, if we do this a little kind of odd work, 823, we have A and B for 461. Okay. Can you get the seat? Yes, thank you. Your Honor, um, I have no further questions for Mr. Halbig. Okay. So this document's not just for ID? Yes, well, it's for ID for the time but, being. But they haven't asked any questions, so we'll hold off for them. You have to you know, follow up with us later? Yes. Okay. Do you have another witness to call? Yes. Um, Newtown Police Chief Kehoe, who's under subpoena. It's a subpoena. Okay. Attorney Wilson, do you want to move your attorney Wilson? Yes. Just move your pocket hotel and move the chair over. Okay.
and among other uh, information on this document. I read that it's 935, but you, um, where do you see that, sir? 093655? Let's see that. Let's see that. Do I have the answer to the question, sir? I'm sorry, what do you mean? The question was, what is the, the time stamp for this, or the time for the call that came in? The dispatch time is 12-14-2012 at 09-3655. Where do you see that on the document? Uh, below the call for service number uh, line. Oh, I see. Right here. Very good. Okay. And when did that call come in? Call came in at 12-14-2012 at 9-35-43. Okay. And what was the call type? Unwanted person. And what does what does that mean, sir? That's irrelevant. We're, Commissioner, I would submit that we're trying to figure out this document if it purports to be what it actually is. If it's real, if we, it's a relevant question because we're not sure that we really got on the documents that we requested. The point is you're questioning the authenticity of the document that provided? Well, it, it's, it purports to be a detailed call for service report for December 14, 2012. And the town of Newtown, and it says 911 caller, 12 Dickinson Drive. And uh, Chief Kehoe has indicated that the call type was unwanted person. So I asked him, what does that mean? generic term that we use from our CAD RMS system, which is a generated dispatch records management system, indicating that this person is, has not been invited to this particular location. Okay, thank you. Um, is there, Your Honor, I'd like to put this into the record. Well, I, 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 I understand, understand what, 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 what is, does that what is. Has that clarified whether it's an authentic document or not? Well, I, I'm not sure I need further testimony. So the claim, so he specifies this is a this document is that document. was provided in response to your request, right? It's not a true document. All right, so may I, may I further what here, the witness, Your Honor? as of this document? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm directing your attention to this 911 caller from 12 Dickinson Drive. What was the priority of this particular call? This particular document says it's a medium priority. understanding of this series of events and the calls that came into your station isn't it true that the first caller on this day regarding the 12 Dickinson Drive incident at Sandy Hook in the town of New Ham was that there was a report of shots fired objection let's, uh, let's stick to the relevancy of the document at hand well, it goes you're, to the you're, issue you're, of you're, you're, you're whether this to, has been doctored and whether asking, it's I think the, the document is, that we requested. You brought, brought in, you're asking questions about whether this is relevant. Mm. You're, now you're saying that there's a ch change to the document. We don't know. Well, not, let's, stay, let, let's stay focused on the, the, uh, the request for the document. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think the hearing officer is trying to suggest, how does your question get to that point? Um, I believe that the do a document which would have been the detailed call for service report concerning this particular incident would have been a high priority 
call type involving shots fired. The document we have been given through our FOIA requests indicates that it was a medium priority and that it was for an unwanted person. It calls into question whether or not we have in fact received the documents that we duly requested through the FOIA request process, which is upon appeal and is directly at issue in this hearing. I think we're starting to get to the real heart of this matter, which is that this isn't really about the documents. It's about a belief that the events on the I'm going to object to that testimony by Attorney Frank. This is about the FOIA requests. The motivations behind Mr. Halvig is that he is a concerned citizen, a brave one at that, and that he is, you know, he has, like any citizen of this of this country, has an opportunity through the Connecticut FOIA laws to request public, non-privileged, non-exempt documents. And they've been provided. We don't know that. You have the document. You just don't believe it. If you want to continue with the document. It's at odds with the facts as we know them. I'd still like to ask to put this in for the Commissioner's consideration. The facts that we know is that 26 people were killed on 12-14. Objection to the un-testimony of counsel. You're giving testimony now. Yeah. Not sworn in to do so. I think that the question was whether you had this put into the record as an exhibit showing that. I do not have an objection if it's being offered as a document that was produced in the response to FOIA. Okay. For purposes, we're going to put this in. It's being stipulated that this is a document that you've received as a response to the FOI request. That is correct, Your Honor. Thank you. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, you do not. My apologies. It's okay. And this is for? Ms. Jones. I didn't quite hear you. This is 461. This is the? Yes, this would be? Yes, this is relevant to FIC 2014-461-2 Brown. Thank you. Yes. And, Your Honor, I'm an attorney at Brown. You marked this as which exhibit? This is C. C? C? Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner. I'm going to hand you another document for two copies for you and your counsel, Chief Keogh. Okay. So, just as preliminary work here regarding this document, Chief Keogh, it purports to be a daily incident log. Do you recognize it as such? Yes, I do. Okay. Is this an official record of the Newtown Police Department? Yes. Okay. And I direct your attention to sort of page three of this document, which has been marked as Complainant's Exhibit C. Are you looking at page three? Yes. Looks like it's for, correct me if I'm wrong, sir, but this is for December 14, 2012 at 935? At the top of the page? Yes. Okay. What is the incident type there? Unwanted person. And the location or venue? 12 Dickinson Drive. Okay. You understood that to be the Sandy Hook Elementary School? Yes. Okay. Now, there seems to be a list of units. I'm counting. Looks like there were 22 units that are identified. Were those all Newtown units? Newtown Police Department units? 
again, I would object, and I'm going to ask you what this has to do with the subject of this appeal. Okay. Well, the, the question, we, yes, 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 sir. Um, Your Honor, we have requested um, under FIC 14461, our exhibit CA is the FOIA request dated April 25th, 2014, in which we asked the police department for call log sheets, particularly under subparagraph 3 of that um, FOIA request, subparagraph 3B, we asked for copies of all communications for December 14, 2012, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. between the Newtown Police Department and the Connecticut State Police Trooper 1 helicopter. <coughs> Mr. Halliday testified we did not receive that. Okay. My inquiry is whether or not there is an issue in here of communications so that they, if they exist, then the next question would be why do you not get them? Okay. So my question... Now is the, the my, document that you're looking at now, is that the, uh, the call log? Or yes, it is. So that's the subject. It's the incident log. Daily incident log. Well, so oh, uh, maybe for, the for, that, for, the purpose. for the purpose of discussing oh, the this triple one. Huh? So just so I'm clear on the question, uh, the question was: Will all those units, the Newtown Police units? Yes, sir. That that was the question. So, Chief Kehoe, to your understanding or your, your remembrance of, of December 14, 2012, do you know whether or not there was any communication between uh, the Newtown Police Department and Connecticut State Police Trooper 1 helicopter? Objection. This is a, under FOIA, it's, they're entitled to documents. So that whether there are communications or not is irrelevant. The question is, whether there are any documents regarding communication. Okay. May I? Can you rephrase the question? Yeah, can you rephrase it if there were any documents regarding the communications in writing between the Newtown Police Department and the Thank you, Commissioner. I will. Um, Chief Kehoe, do you know whether or not there are any transcripts of communications um, for December 14, 2012 from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. between the Newtown Police Department and the Connecticut State Police Trooper 1 helicopter? To best my knowledge, there are no communications. No communications? That's correct. There were no communications between the Newtown Police Department and the Trooper 1 helicopter for the state police. That That's an answer. Her question was transcripts of communications. So do you mean to say, to your knowledge, there was no transcripts of communications? Well, I think that was your question. That was my question, but I think his testimony is what it is. Um, I don't, I guess I take, I respectfully take issue with you, Your Honor, asking you if he means to say. Well, no, I'm all the answer. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say
Um, so, Chief Kehoe, do you know whether or not there's any audio or communications between your department and the Trooper 1 helicopter for the state police on that day? There is no audio, to the best of my knowledge. Okay. I may just have a second, Your Honor. I think this is moving forward. I'll suspend that line of inquiry just for a moment and ask um, Chief Kuhl. Um, Chief Kuhl, were there any, do you, are you aware that um, Mr. Halbig was uh, at the Newtown Police Department yesterday reviewing purported dash cam videos from Lieutenants um, or um, Cinco, Lieutenant Seco and, and uh, Seabrook? Yes. Okay. Now, sir, you know, I'm just remind you you're under oath, but I'd like to ask you whether or not you know whether or not those dash cam recordings contain a date signature and a time stamp as well as a listing of the police car or um, unit and the officer. Could you repeat the question please? Do the do the dash cam videos typically contain a date stamp, a time, a unit or an officer's name in the video? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us why there was no date stamp or time on the video shown to Mr. Helbig yesterday by your executive secretary? <laughs> what you reviewed yesterday was to copy. The best we could do to copy our in-car camera system to a medium that could be viewed uh, by um, by you and that was our best attempt to copy it. How did so if the originals had date and time stamps on them, how did those date and time stamps fall off of the copies which were given to us for viewing yesterday? I'm not sure they did. Did you review the they're, they're embedded in, in that that uh, copy of the uh, video reviewed yesterday. And how, how do you know that? Because I, I viewed it. And did you actually see them appear on the screen? Yes. Superimposed on the video? Yes. 